Before I start my speech, I'm going to introduce my audience. Again. Charles. Chuck. Willie. Levi. Hope. I'm here to inform you how to properly raise and breed pygmy goats. Every morning when you wake up, the first thing you do is head to the kitchen to start the coffee pot in order to wake yourself up and prepare for the long day you have ahead of you. Every morning when you wake up, you should be thankful for goats because without them, you would not have this magical wake-up substance. That is because coffee was discovered by goats. A long time ago in Ethiopia, a herd of goats ate a certain kind of bush that caused very weird behaviors, which made them awake and very full of energy. This was where coffee beans were discovered. So next time you take a sip of your morning coffee, be sure to thank a goat. I want to inform you how to properly raise and breed pygmy goats. We will discuss how to start your goat business, how to maintain it, and how to be successful in your goat business. I have owned and bred pygmy goats for about five years now. I have bought and sold many different ones, so I have plenty of experience in the goat business. Although many people think that raising goats is so easy, they need to think again. Starting any kind of business isn't easy, but like any business, you must start small and build your way up. First thing you must do before even thinking about buying pygmy goats is to acquire land to raise them on if you don't already have the land. If you already have an adequate space, which is about a couple of acres of land for five to six goats. Once you have acquired the appropriate space for your goats, you must then consider what kind of fence you are going to put up to contain the goats. I have found that six foot chain link fence works best without allowing the goats to escape or jump over the fence. After you have your land and have put up proper fence, you must then consider building a shelter for the animals. The best kind of shelter for pygmy goats is a small barn or small calf bunches. Then you'll be ready to go and purchase your first few goats. Now that we have looked at how to start the business, we can look, how to look at how to maintain your goat business. Once you've gotten your business started, you have done the hard part. Now you must take care of the upkeep for your business and maintain your goat's health and well-being. To maintain your business, you must do the things like check the fence regularly for holes and be sure that the animals are staying contained because you don't want to lose any, which will hurt your profit. You should maintain your goat's health and well-being by having them checked regularly for worms or any other parasites. And you should call a vet if you notice any unusual behavior in your goats. You should be sure your goats are being fed properly and that they have a healthy appetite. I find that feeding your goats sweet feed along with the grass they get from the pasture is an appropriate diet. Also add in some alfalfa hay for them to eat in the winter times. As long as you can maintain your goat herd well, then the breeding process will come easily to you. If you are familiar with goats and have had them for a while, you are ready to start the breeding process. As you start to breed the animals, you have to start keeping a closer eye on the animals to watch for the signs of pregnancy and other things. When you start thinking about the breeding process, you have to be sure that these goats aren't brothers, sisters, fathers, or daughters. You never want to have inbred animals. That can cause many problems in the pregnancy and the goats can even come out deformed. When you decide you are ready for breeding and you have found two very healthy pygmy goats, you simply place them in the same pen and let them do their thing. <laughs> According to extensions.org, bucks have the highest sex drive, fertility, and semen quality volume in late summer and early fall. The same, <laughs> same top that of the doe, so you should put your buck and doe together around the late summer. According to Rory's farm, pregnancy and gestation period are almost similar in both sheep and goats. Generally, both of them have about 150 days of gestation period. Early fall is the breeding season, and they usually give birth to kids in the spring. You should prepare for the spring birth by closely watching them for signs that they are in labor because sometimes goats may need some help with the delivery process in order to birth the new baby kid. I encourage everyone to give the goats a chance. Who knows, you might fall in love with them. Today we learned about raising pygmy goats and the breeding process. We looked at starting your business, maintaining your business, and starting the breeding process. One final interesting fact according to Fact Legends is that Researchers based in London figured out that goats have accents. They figured out in a research that goats can change their accents when they move to a different group or when they grow up. Well, this is discovery makes the fourth mammal to be able to pick up their accents. The other three are dolphins, elephants, and of course, humans. Thank you.